The Centurion Hydrant was engineered to provide traffic protection and to meet the AWWA standard of 18-inch minimum clearance from the center line of the lowest nozzle to the very line cast on the lower barrel. If the hydrant is buried too deeply or the grade is changed after installation, it is recommended that a Mueller Hydrant Extension Kit be installed. The Mueller Extension Kit is available in 6-inch increments from 1 half foot to 4 feet. The Mueller Extension Kit includes a barrel extension section, a stem extension section, a two-piece cast extension flange, eight flange bolts and nuts, a stainless steel extension coupling, two half-inch stainless steel stem pins, two stainless steel cotter pins, two flange gaskets, as well as two O-rings to work with either the new or old-style hydrant barrels, and a ten-and-a-half-ounce bottle of Mueller hydrant oil. If the hydrant is 1987 or older, first remove the weather cap. On 1988 and newer hydrants, the weather seal has been incorporated into the hold-down nut. To remove the hold-down nut, it must be turned in the opposite direction of the opening direction of the hydrant. Remove the operating nut and anti-friction washer from the bonnet. With a socket wrench, remove the bonnet bolts and nuts. Before lifting the bonnet off of the stem, slip the brass safety sleeve over the stem threads to protect the O-ring pressure seals. Remove the safety flange bolts and nuts. Remove the safety flanges. Remove the upper barrel. Be cautious. The upper barrel weight is approximately 150 pounds. Use proper lifting equipment when lifting the upper barrel. Do not set the barrel on the upper stem, as the weight of the upper barrel could bend the stem. Remove the lower stainless steel cotter pin and stem pin. Lift off the upper stem and the safety coupling as a unit. This is to assure the proper placement of the coupling during replacement. Assemble the extension stem and extension coupling with the stainless steel cotter pin and stem pin. The stop in the extension coupling will allow the holes in the stem and coupling to line up so the stem pin can be inserted. Place the assembly on the lower stem and replace the original stainless steel pin and cotter pin. Now, attach the extension barrel. Use the extension flanges, which do not have grooves, and make sure the flange gasket is in place. Bolt tightly to the lower barrel. Attach the upper barrel. Use the safety flanges, which do have grooves, with the cast letter facing downward. Make sure the nozzles are facing properly and the flange seal is in place. If the upper barrel is one of the newer styles that uses an O-ring, the O-ring can be held in place with small dabs of silicone adhesive. Tighten the bolts evenly to make sure the flange is aligned. Then tighten against the extension barrel. Now replace the bonnet. The brass sleeve should already be in position to protect the O-ring seals from damage by the stem threads. Replace the operating nut, anti-friction washer, hold-down nut, and weather cap if present. Add lubricant if necessary, following the practices described at the beginning of this video. Operate the hydrant to check for proper operation.